Wilma, I'm home. Where's my dinner? Oh, Fred, I'm sorry. I was too busy shopping with Betty. I forgot to make your dinner. What? Now, Fred, don't get upset. You mean to tell me that you forgot my dinner because you were out all day spending my hard-earned money? Just hold it there, Buster. I am your wife, and I deserve a few frivolities now and again. Oh, that's great. That's just great. Mrs. Fred Flintstone, the only woman in the poorhouse with a saber to stole. Can the jokes, wise guy. I have had it up to here with you blowing money on clothes and jewelry when you can't even provide your husband with a warm meal. I made one small mistake and you act like it's the end of the world. It will be the end of the world for me when I kill over and starve to death. Oh, please. You've got enough stockpiled in that fat gut of yours. You could go for weeks and not even go down a shirt size. Are you implying that I am slightly overweight, Wilma Pebble Slagoople? I'm not implying nothing. I'm saying that you're so big that your brothel crane should be riding you. That's it! I've had it with your lip! How dare you strike me, Fred Flintstone! I dare, because you are my wife! My property! My punching bag! You bitch! <laughs> now see what you've done! Who gives a damn? The fucking kid has the mailman's eyes! <laughs> Shut up, you Brett! Oh my god! You killed my baby! Shut up, you pig! You slut! You're a cunt! A cunt! Help! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Barney, don't you think we should call the police? Uh, nope. I want to ride this one out. Besides, I got a bet riding with the boys at the lodge on this one. <laughs>